Hey everybody, Homeslash Hunter here, and in today's video we're taking a look at some battles from the Psychic Cup featuring a Pokemon with a monstrous damage output, and that is Hoopa Confined Form. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Shinlina, so many thanks for the battle submission. Hoopa Confined is a Psychic and Ghost type Pokemon with the moveset of Astonish and Shadow Ball. No second move is required. Pairing Hoopa can find huge attack stat with a fast move like Astonish, this thing can output some crazy damage. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and take a look at Hoopa can find in the Psychic Cup. Hopping into the first match, picking up a positive lead Hoopa versus Shadow Gardevoir, and look at Astonish go! Fully farming down the Gardevoir and winning switch advantage. In comes Claydol. Claydol does get a one mud slap head start, and we're going to see Claydol answered with Galarian Rapidash. This Galarian Rapidash is running Mega Horn, which would inflict massive super effective damage. Choosing to bait with the Body Slam, and the bait is successful, grabbing a shield from the opponent. Claydol probably going to fire off the Scorching Sands. We will see the shield from the Rapidash. Opponent is going to switch out into Victini, and Victini is about to get crushed by Mud Slap Claydol. Claydol will be able to tank whatever Victini throws here. Victini will go for the V Create. V Create is going to land. Victini has another V Create ready to go, but Claydol now more than happy to shield and get a farm down. Claydol now will fire off the Shadow Ball at the opposing Claydol. While this does not KO, it does do quite a lot of damage. So the opponent will commit the shield, and since there's a move loaded on the Galarian Rapidash, this game is a win. Scorching Sands will pick up the KO, but back in comes the Rapidash with that Mega Horn loaded. Mega Horn KOs the Claydol and secures the win. Hopping to the next match, we see an unbelievably good lead Hoopa versus Galarian Rapidash. And look at Astonish Go just melting through this Pokemon. The damage output from Hoopa is absolutely wild. Opponent now going to send in Malamar. Malamar running Psywave. Psywave not going to have a lot of fast move pressure here. Hoopa is going to grab a shield with Shadow Ball. We do see the safe switch out into the Galarian Rapidash. Answered with Claydol. And this game is just over. Rapidash goes for the Mega Horn. That connects. That does so much damage. And Rapidash more than happy to shield up and get a very nice Fairy Wind farm down. Scorching Sands does not get the debuff. Even better for the Rapidash. And at this point, all chip damage is helpful. So we're going to fire off the Body Sam, grab the shield. Opponent is going to deny the opportunity to make it to a second Body Sam, as Foul Play will be able to secure the knockout. In comes Claydol, and one Foul Play does not KO Claydol. So Claydol more than happy to absorb this energy. And from here, after one more Mud Slap, it should be pretty close to Scorching Sands range. Range, and Claydol is able to get there. Games with this team are going to be really fast. You either win fast or you lose fast. Hopping into the next match, Hoopa versus a Bronzong. Faint Attack is going to do so much damage, so we will see a switch out into the Rapidash. Faint Attack would be double super effective. That would crush the Hoopa. Hoopa is already glassy enough. If you have any kind of dark move, Hoopa is just going to get melted. Rapidash, however, can tank these Fan Attacks quite well, because Fan Attack is a pretty mediocre fast move. Opponent is going to switch out into Chimeco, which is another one of the Astonish users. Farming up, firing off the Mega Horn, Chimeco will commit the shield. Rapidash just falls short of making it to the move. In comes Hoopa. Hoopa, oh my goodness. Hoopa does not want to take these Astonishes whatsoever. Energy Ball is going to connect, and it's all up to Claydol to try and close out this game. Claydol is going to commit the shield as Chimeco will fire off another Energy Ball. Energy Ball does not get the debuff, thank goodness, as Claydol exits with a ton of energy. In comes Malamar, and this is going to be a tricky game here, but it does feel possible. The Scorching Sands is going to connect. Second Scorching Sands should be able to pick up the knockout here. Claydol, Scorching Sands. Oh no, they live on one HP. Oh my goodness, if Claydol got the farm down, maybe it could have made a move versus the Bronzong. But Malamar says no, and that game will end in a loss. Terrific lead in the next match. Hoopa into Alolan Raichu, and this poor Raichu is just getting shredded with Astonish. Raichu goes for a Thunder Punch and just gets fully farmed down. Hoopa exits with the Shadow Ball. Hoopa's second move, I can't remember if I mentioned this, is Psychic. And Psychic in a Psychic Cup is completely useless. So you don't need a second move on Hoopa to get wins. We're now going to see a switch into the Rapidash. As ideally, you really don't want to be taking the Hexes on Hoopa. 
Slow King full sends the Shadow Ball, so getting that shield right is incredibly important. Now I'm going to fire off the Neutral Mega Horn. This will inflict some serious damage onto the Slow King. Slow King is going to let that through. Slow King could have made another move still, so Rapidash will pressure a shield or a knockout with a Body Slam. In the back, opponent has their own Rapidash, and Rapidash up energy can definitely be quite scary. Body Slam is going to connect, quick switch into the Hoopa, and the opponent? Wait, that's not enough. Yeah, that's only a Body Slam, that's not going to KO, and the opponent realizes they've made a large mistake, and they will concede the match. Positive lead in the next match, Hoopa versus Galarian Slowbro. Opponent safe switches into a Tackle Giraffe Rig, and we're going to see a switch out into the Rapidash. Rapidash is going to be hit with a Psychic Fangs from the Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig trying to ramp up the damage. Rapidash has farmed up so much energy here. Full sending the Mega Horn. Opponent calls the bait, and they get KO'd. In comes the Slowbro. Slowbro, this will only be the Body Slam. Opponent lost track of the counts, and they end up shielding a move that could not have been a Mega Horn. In comes the Hoopa. Hoopa does get an Astonish through as the opponent fires off the Brutal Swing. If Slowbro gets ahead on energy, it can be very scary for the Hoopa, because obviously Brutal Swing, double super effective damage, Hoopa would not survive that charge attack. Hoopa is going to get hit with one final Brutal Swing, choosing to let the Hoopa go, trusting in Claydol. In the back, it is going to be the Rapidash. Yeah, and this is just a very comfortable win for the Claydol. Claydol can farm it into a range where even a Scorching Sands will knock out, because Rapidash, it's incredibly strong in this cup, but it is very, very frail. Scorching Sands picks up the KO. In comes Slowbro. Slowbro is not making another move, and that game is over. Hoopa versus Bruxish, this is a nightmare lead. We see a switch out into Claydol, but the bites are still shredding through Claydol. Opponent is going to make a very nice switch out in the catch, catching the Scorching Sands onto their own Claydol, and they get a mud slap through as well. That was really well timed by the opponent. Claydol is going to be able to make it to the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball would pick up the knockout, but the opponent, they have so much energy. They're just gonna shield and go for a full farm down. And this is looking like a very difficult game to win. In comes Hoopa. Hoopa is going to commit the shield. Opponent is just going to go for the Scorching Sands, but the Astonish will pick up the KO. In comes Rapidash in the back. Yeah, that is just game over, unfortunately. It's going to be the Galarian Slowbro. Rapidash going to no shield the Brutal Swing. Rapidash does make the Mega Horn, but there is just no way of beating this Bruxish. The Mega Horn is going to land. Hoopa gets the farm down. Let's take a look at this bite damage right here. Oh my goodness. Bite doesn't even get same type attack bonus on Bruxish, and it still just melts through that Hoopa like it's nothing. Hopping into the next match, Hoopa versus Hoopa. Let's see this mirror right here. Oh my goodness, it's a simul KO in three fast moves. Oh my goodness. This cup is so, it's just absolutely unserious in the best possible way. Opponent brings out Claydol as Shin is going to bring out the Rapidash. Rapidash body slam baits and the bait is successful. That's massive. Opponent over farming too much in my opinion. They should have at least thrown a Scorching Sands to try and force a shield because now they're down two shields. We have a Claydol mirror. Claydol survives it even if it is a Shadow Ball. We will see a shield. Opponent running Earth Power. So the opponent... If I had to guess, unfortunately, just short on TMs because the ideal Claydol moveset is Scorching Sands plus Shadow Ball. But the unfortunate thing is that if you don't have to charge TMs, then you could get stuck with something like Earth Power and not be able to change it. Malamar will go for the foul play. Malamar makes another foul play, but this will not KO. Claydol is the bulk on this team, able to withstand that damage, get that full farm down, and exit with a Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is just going to do way too much damage here. Opponent now with fractional health. They're going to make a final move. They can get rid of the Claydol, but they're still an extremely healthy Rapidash. In comes the Rapidash. One very win later, and that's game over. Picking up a very tough lead in the next match. Hoopa versus Mail Meowstic. We will see the switch out into the Claydol. Mail Meowstic does have access to Sucker Punch. The female version does not. So if you see Meowstic in this cup, it is exclusively going to be the male Meowstic. Claydol firing off the Scorching Sands at Meowstic. Meowstic is going to commit the shield. Claydol makes another Scorching Sands. 
Is the opponent really willing to double shield this Meowstic? The answer is yes. Meowstic does get its attack dropped. Claydol able to put in a tremendous amount of work. In comes Rapidash. Rapidash can tank whatever they throw. Typically, it's going to be an Energy Ball. Energy Ball, when debuff, still does a lot. Rapidash is going to fire off the Body Slam to get rid of this Meowstic. Down goes Meowstic. The hope is that Hoopa up a shield is going to be able to do well. In comes Gardevoir. Gardevoir gets a full farm down. No Body Slam reached in the back. It's going to be a Tackle Girafferig. Girafferig, the normal psychic type, will be resisting this Shadow Ball. Girafferig barely hangs on. That Shadow Ball almost KO'd. They do get the Psychic Fangs off. This will be close. The game will actually end in a tie. Hopping into the next match, going up against regional champion Valiant Vish, Hoopa versus Rapidash. Great lead for Hoopa. We see a switch out into the Malamar. Malamar to be answered with the Galarian Rapidash. Malamar is going to strike first with a foul play. Foul play does a lot. Rapidash is very frail, but it does not knock out. Rapidash baiting with a body slam. Malamar calls the bait. What a beautiful call from Vish. And now this makes this mid game very uncomfortable. Another body slam, another no shield. Vish happy just to concede switch advantage so he can get a bunch of energy on his Rapidash. Body slam does so much in the mirror as Vish is now slightly below half HP on the Rapidash. In comes the Hoopa. Hoopa is going to look to shield up a potential high horsepower or mega horn. In this case, it's a Body Sam Bait, and in the back is Claydol, and that is so much astonished damage out of the Claydol already. Now Shin is just going to switch into the mirror. Opponent goes for the Shadow Ball, that does a lot, but that's very survivable. And it looks like these Claydol are at very, very similar health here. Claydol just going to let this go and try and win the game just purely off of fast moves, as that's an astonished farm down of one and two Pokemon back to back to take the win. Picking up a slightly negative lead in the next match, Hoopa versus Malamar, and it's actually a Psycho Cut Malamar. Honestly, I think for the Psychic Cup meta, that Psycho Cut will actually end up being the preferred fast move on Malamar. Psy Wave does a lot more fast move damage, but in a meta of only Psychic types, having a lot of Psychic fast move damage to me is honestly not that important. When in reality with Malamar, the goal is you're trying to spam out foul plays on all these Psychic types, and the quicker energy generation of Psycho Cut helps with that. Unfortunately, Claydol, that's not going to be a CMP tie that it ever wins. Malamar, the Body Slam will not KO, however, so the opponent has to give up the Rapidash or give up a shield. They're just going to give up the Rapidash. Do they try and go for an aggressive farm down with the Malamar? No, they bring in Gardevoir. Gardevoir about to get hit with the Hoopa. Those Astonishes dealing so much damage. In comes the Rapidash. Rapidash going to be hit with a Foul Play. Foul Play would do a lot, so he will see the final shield used by the Rapidash. Rapidash looking for the farm down opponent is going to make the last second foul play. Foul play not going to be enough to knock out. Rapidash going to stop tapping. Really can't afford to give the guard of war farm. And now both trainers have stopped tapping here. Waiting the switch timer. Rapidash going to pick up the knockout. In comes Gardevoir, going to fire off the body slam to burn the last little bit of the switch timer and then look to snipe with an astonish. In comes the Hoopa, down goes Gardevoir, and that's a good game. In the next match, we actually see the exact same lead. Hoopa into Malamar. This Malamar is on Psy Wave, however, so they will have more fast move damage at the expense of slower energy generation. Malamar will go for the foul play. Opponent going to send out Rapidash. This honestly might be a battler running the exact same team as last game as well. The Body Slam connects. It still does not KO. And does Rapidash actually try and call a Scorching Sands here, or will we see the shield? No, we will see the shield. Unfortunately, falling just short of the next Scorching Sands. In comes the Hoopa. Hoopa is going to go for a one shield farm down. Hoopa up energy can do fine against Malamar. And that's exactly where Hoopa is now. Hoopa's up energy. We're going to see a switch out into the Rapidash. Rapidash farming up. Malamar going to fire off a foul play. Foul play does so much damage to Rapidash. Malamar choosing to stay in. That's a bit of a surprise. Firing off the Body Slam. Body Slam is going to connect in the back. It's a Gardevoir Slam snipe and it's the same team as last game hoopa tries for the farm down it's a simultaneous ko and unfortunately this time the game does not end in victory 
hopping into the final match, Hoopa versus Victini, and this is an incredible lead. Hoopa, these astonishes just do so much damage. Victini will fire off a V create, and Hoopa's glassy enough that this has to be respected. Victini staying in, they just get shredded by the astonishes. Out comes Malamar, and Malamar has to protect itself from the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball gets no shield, and Malamar, you have to shield that. We're going to see an aggressive switch into the Rapidash. Rapidash answered with a Claydol, and this is looking very tough for the opponent. Mega Horn. Oh, the opponent's just calling every bait. They said, I refuse to shield a bait. And in the end, they end up conceding the match with both shields intact. All in all, I think Hoopa is an incredibly hilarious Pokemon in the Psychic Cup. I've never really seen Hoopa get any kind of play in any league, so the fact that there's a league where it's actually viable, you can use it to get wins, I'm honestly way more of a fan of the Psychic Cup this time around than I have been in previous iterations of it. Previous iterations, I felt, ended up getting a bit boring, but with a lot of new Astonish users like BEM, there's also Chimeco, and there's also... Meowstic Mail, which has the Sucker Punch. There's a lot of new variety in this meta, as well as like the Claydol buff with Mudslap. So to me, honestly, even if you tried Psychic Cup in a previous season and you're like, it's not for me, I do think it is worth a try because I used to not care for it and I ended up enjoying my time playing it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.